everybody. Welcome again to the Underground. Still the only YouTube channel filmed right here on location in my basement. Okay, so the other day I was just messing around in SolidWorks and I was playing around with some compound levers. I ended up designing this 5000 test indicator. Uh, I printed it out and built it. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to play with. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to talk about uh, what it is, why it's cool, why I think you don't need it. Okay, so first we're going to talk about what an indicator is. I'm going to keep that very brief because I assume most people who watch my channel already know. And this explanation is mostly for my mom. Uh, yeah, I'll call mom. So an indicator in this context is a device that amplifies very small movements to make them measurable. So this is an example of a modern dial test indicator. This one is accurate to 0 .0005 inches. Uh, this one is accurate to 0 .005 inches. Um, so this uh, uses a dial obviously to read out and um, a lever uh, to input just like this one. Uh, there's a very tiny uh, rack and pinion in here uh, that causes that to actuate. Before the dials were, were common, uh, they would either use just one very long lever or a series of compound levers. Uh, so this is an example of the compound lever version. Uh, so we're going to set this up on the lathe uh, with, a, with a digital indicator. And we're just going to use the lathe as a fixture uh, just so we can see how it works and, uh, and uh, yeah, run it through the paces. I did design and print this flexor spring to go on the back. Um, it makes it a lot easier to use and a lot less accurate. Um, it's a little jumpy and it tends to accumulate error. All right, I zeroed out the indicator on the third graduation. Uh, this thing is supposed to be graduated at 0 .005 and let's just uh, run it through some numbers here. That's looking pretty good. Looking good. Yeah, so you can see that, you know, uh, this thing is pretty accurate without the spring. And, you know, with the spring, it, you know, it still works. You can preload it and it works well within like a 15 thousandths range, but it does just accumulate error, you know, as, as more, more tension gets on the spring. Okay, so it's cool. It's neat. It does what it's supposed to. The reason you don't need it is because it's a 5 thousandths indicator. This indicator is 10 times less accurate than the indicator we use here in the underground. And it's a hundred times less accurate than the indicators I use professionally. This indicator is graduated at 0 .005 inches. You can buy a high-end steel scale that's graduated at 0 .01 inches. So literally, this thing is only twice as accurate as a nice ruler. You know, uh, you just don't need it. So uh, go ahead to Thingiverse and download it anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.